This game is Crime Girl. It is normally $9.99. It's 80% off, so it's $1.99. If, um, but it's in a bundle with Ghost Lords, a kind of Pokemon-ish? It's hard to describe. Um, game that I played on a previous uh, grab, Game and Grab Bag stream, which I liked a whole lot. Uh, so if you get in the bundle, then it's 88% off instead of 8% off. I recommend Ghost Lords a whole lot. Can't say one thing one way or the other about this one. But if it's as good as Ghost Lords, then yeah, I'd say get the bundle. This is a very different game from Ghost Lords, so. This is a platformer with some procedural generation involved. I... Again, don't really know much about it other than the trailer. And I've been into this hub area and that's it. I haven't played any of it myself. We have kind of side things here like shirts. Like the blue shirt and the red shirt. I like the green shirt for now between that and the red shirt. We have a few different game modes. So we have standard, which is Climb the tower, get as many gem emeralds as you can. And I think that there's an ending to it. Hard mode, yeah. Because this is straight up beat regular mode to unlock. You have infinite mode, which I need to reach rank 5 to unlock. Arena, reach rank 10. This one is just purely enemies, I believe, from the description. And then fixed is like standard, except, you know. It's fixed. There's no procedural generation. It's designed with speedrunning in mind. It says in the description. Anyway, uh, we're going to just get going. So you have a jump and you have this little grappling hook. And the grappling hook can kind of kill the enemies, I think. Or maybe I'm killing them when I touch them from below. Yeah, it looks like me touching them from below is what kills them, not the spike on the grappling hook itself. I don't know if I can jump on enemies. I can. Cool. Yeah. Feels well. Or, fe feels well. It feels good to play. Um, let's go through this. I don't think I'm on any sort of time limit. It's just try and make it to the top while collecting as many emeralds as possible. Pretty jazzy soundtrack going on. Um, maybe not so much jazzy, but upbeat at any rate. Spooky skulls. Springs. Feels pretty good so far. There's nothing on the right, so I'm not going to go that way. No wall jumping. It's a chest. I assume there's just a bunch of emeralds in it. I'm also fairly sure that some of these sprites are enemies from Ghost Lords. Or ghosts that you could collect as allies. Or as enemies. Hey, you know what? If you're going to reuse your assets, this isn't the worst way to reuse them. Ow. Okay, I thought the things on the bottom left were my health, but it looks like I still have three of that, despite getting hit. Unless I healed immediately after without realizing. Oh, this is kind of like a floaty power-up. I have a lot more airtime now. Though it is also a bit hard to adjust to this floatiness. Oh no, I lost it. Well, I guess I don't need to worry about adjusting to it then. Oh, nope, I want to go back down. Can I grapple this platform? I can. Yeah, so far it feels good. I wouldn't say that it's doing anything particularly impressive at the moment. But I can't say that it's like bad to play or anything. There we 
go. Got this. I definitely want to check out the other game modes because um, I doubt I'm surviving to see the top of this tower. Well, this certainly got a bit tougher. And I guess that floor change will do that, right? I wonder how tall this tower actually goes, like how many floors it has. It's not infinite, because that's what infinite mode is for. Oh no. I doubt we'll be seeing hard mode at any rate. Okay, so I guess if you get hit, you lose a health, but it bounces around and you can pick it up if you're fast enough. I see. That's neat. Mm, this is definitely starting to ask a bit more of me in terms of comboing with the grappling hook. Okay, weird little warp portal things. Don't know where that other one leads. And I don't really care to find out. I just want to climb up as far as I can go. My goal right now is to try and make it to the third set of floors. These kind of black and purple, like, super phantoms are kind of tough. Oh. That guy kind of rushed me. What do you do? Okay, that shoots a little glob. So that's like the electric eyes from before, except now... Oh, I missed it. That's not good. I wonder if I even get a chance to collect my final health, or if once it's gone, it's just gone. Well, I don't think we're seeing the fourth floor, if I had to take a wild guess here. No, okay. I do get a chance to collect it. Please let me collect... No. Okay, apparently popping enemies from below gave me a bunch of gems, unless they were coming out of me. I hit rank 5 in one go, so that's something. Wow, that picks up fast. Sorry, hard mode, you're not happening. It's infinite. Let's try fixed. Oh, do you have a big bag full of gems? I thought it just had a green shirt on. I guess that makes a bit more sense. Fixed mode is kind of immediately kind of mean. I will say chain together this grappling hook is pretty satisfying. Like, it does feel very good to play. And kill that. Get this. I guess if you get full health and you get something that would normally heal you, you get a mysterious power up instead. What is this doing for me? Maybe it's a damage shield? Looks kind of damage shieldy. It's ominous at any rate. No, it's not a damage shield. I'm honestly not sure. Did it extend my grappling hook, maybe? Maybe it does something where I get hit? Like, the other one was clearly floaty. I just don't know what's up with this one. That seems easy enough. The way these Reaper guys kind of rush at you reminds me of the Grim Reapers from Kid Icarus. Oh yeah, he does have a gem bag. Okay. I am not getting all these before they almost certainly disappear. No, maybe they don't disappear. Or maybe it's just very generous with the bounce time. 
So I guess fixed mode is basically you could go for Gangloff emeralds or you can go for time. Oh, okay. Yep, it was the damage shield. Protect me from one hit and then basically killed a whole bunch of stuff. Why would I? Oh, chest here. Hey, another damage shield. And here we go. Just getting some emeralds with no real danger here. Other than danger to my high score time. Because, you know, I'm definitely finishing the fixed tower. Ah. Oh. This guy's a bit tough to fight over here. I am not going down there for those emeralds. I'll go down here for these emeralds, but not the ones that went bouncing out. I knew that was here, and I still didn't wait for it. Well, that's one hit. What? Okay, this thing goes in kind of like an S shape. That was a bit trickier than I thought it was. I should have paid more attention to its pattern before going there. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought that thing was going to hit me. I suppose learning how to catch your life after it gets knocked out of you is pretty important to this game, since that can certainly extend your survival. And let's get some of these. Oh no. I don't like this thing. No. I want that. I thought that was health, it was just a kind of lightweight shield. That's a bit of a shame, especially since I immediately lost it. <laughs> Yeah, overall this game seems pretty solid. I'm not sure if I'd say that I would have been willing to pay the full price of $10 for it. But, because like, I don't know, it, I mean, it's procedural generation, so it's basically unlimited replay value and whatnot. And it is very solid, but, I don't know, $10 seems a bit much, like, especially since I think Ghost Lords is the same price by the same developer, and between two I would take that, definitely. Um, that being said, the current discount price of like two bucks or less if you get in the bundle. Um, yeah, I, I think this is fine for two dollars. This seems like the type of game that you could easily go back to. It definitely doesn't seem like it's really designed for long stretches of play. It seems like the type of thing that you boot up and like play for a few minutes at a time. And that seems fine. I'm going to go back and get these emeralds. See, I'll probably finish up this run and then we'll take a look at arena mode, assuming I hit rank 10, and then we'll probably move on. Oh, I came across a boss. Hmm. Seems like it's easiest to hit on the head because it kind of turns into smoke otherwise. Oh, I need that. Don't. Getting hits off on this thing is kind of tough. Ow. Ow again. Oh, that's one health down. can't really combo it because it does get invincibility frames. It's almost dead. Gimme. 
I would be so very, very dead if you couldn't recover your health. Nope. Last hit. Nope. That teleport's getting me a lot. Hello, a billion emeralds. Oh, and the horrible vein of death Fort or whoever that was also stopped. I managed to make it further in the kind of harder feeling standard tower than I did in the, um... Oh, in the fixed tower than the standard tower, it seems, since... This is, what, floor four now? Okay. I see. Need to wait on that a little bit. It is neat the, um... kind of degree to which you can take multiple approaches to things with this grapple, though. Okay, I got a flame shield. Maybe this one's a damage shield. going to try and... Ow. Okay, now that was sort of a damage shield, but not in the way that I meant. Oh, boy. Oh, this is tough. Okay, this is relatively safe, so... Does this also lead there? Okay, they both lead there. That's kind of what I thought, but wanted to confirm. We got some slow-moving electricity. Okay, I need to go here. And wait on that. All right. Oh, they really charge you. That's a... Emerald gem pouch guy, but I think that I would die if I tried going after it, so I'm going to just ignore it. Let's just see. I'm going to just focus on rapidly climbing, maybe. Well, that seems to have gone poorly. It is a lot more satisfying, I think, when you don't stop for the emeralds and just kind of keep going. Go away. Wow, that is not worth it. Over well, I can just get that wheel ignoring all of that, really. Oh, no. Oh no. <sighs> That's really bad. I think I'm gonna lose it. Yeah. Well, next hit will kill me. No recovery left. Come on. Gonna just ignore him. I do not want to get killed by that thing of all things. Okay. Make it here. And yeah, this game is kind of like Tower Climb, I guess. Not quite the same. I don't think Tower Climb has a grappling hook mechanic, but. I mean, it's definitely not the first game to have you climbing a giant tower, right? Whether you're ascending it or descending it. Uh... Okay. I see. Well, this is a step up from the first boss, for sure. Nope, I died. I did hit rank 10. Oh, I hit quite a bit higher than rank 10, in fact. 
I hit rank 20. The award star is store. Well, I don't think you get anything. You just get awards. Let's see, so... We got escape from the top of the tower, escape on hard mode, and beat the game with full health. Oh, I almost got 5,000 in one run. Well, I got the one right before it, which I guess is still ways off. Looks like the max rank is 100. Which apparently you get when you get 50,000 emeralds, judging by the name. The reach 2,000 meters in infinite mode. And there is some for Arena. Oh, that opened up a website. That's not what I wanted to do. Go away, website. That's a little bit annoying. Um, so what do we got? Gamer. Great. <laughs> well, we got retro. And, uh, purple hair, summer, green hair, blue shirt. Let's go with the green hair look. Our shirt has become our hair. I did not mean to go into this mode. I'm going to abandon run. I have a habit of constantly jumping around when I can. So yeah, I'm going to try out the arena once and then we'll move on to the next game. Like, I'm liking this game. I don't think that would be worth the um, $10 retail price. Like I said, for two bucks, I think that's fine. Right. I, I, for, I, I know it's the arena mode. I immediately tried climbing and I was confused as to why I couldn't climb higher. But yeah, also I just don't really think that I need to show off more of it after this because you kind of get the idea. Definitely seems like it's just a game that benefits a lot more from the short bursts rather than sticking to it for hours on end. I am doing absolutely like trash in this arena. Also, you don't get a chance to recover health in the arena. These ice enemies are pretty rude. go. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, I survived for one minute. Okay. I think that's gonna do it for Crime Girl for now. That was okay. Definitely didn't like it as much as um Epic Dumpster Bear and Formate, but eh. I think that if you want to buy it um, at $2, it's fine for $2. I, I I would not recommend it for $10, probably. Just doesn't seem like there's really enough to it for the 10 But on sale, I could definitely see this being a fun little game to go back to for 2